Hey you guys, it's Lynn here and I am back again in a new year, a new decade to make a new video for all of you cosplayers out there. And as we we're going into the new year, I asked myself, what kind of videos do I want to put on YouTube? And my biggest main concern when I watch YouTube videos is I like to watch reviews about things, about websites, products, you know, commission products, just whatever you're buying or making for cosplay costumes. I like to watch reviews of things that I might like to buy, but I'm a little unsure about um, how to use the website, if it has good reviews, what's the quality of what I'm buying. And so I thought what I would do is talk about a very popular website today that's kind of a mystery, but I know a lot of cosplayers out there are very interested in learning about buying from it. And that is the big mystery of AliExpress. Now you guys have probably run across AliExpress online before, um, either heard someone talk about it in another video, or maybe you've gone to the website yourself and seen kind of how crazy it looks and been a little intimidated. So let me just tell you first off the bat, I have bought and received items from AliExpress multiple times. And I bought my first items actually last year before SoccerCon 2019 and had interesting results, some very good, some very bad. And so I'm going to go through it today with you guys and kind of talk about what um, suggestions and tips I can give you for actually shopping on AliExpress, the pros and cons of actually receiving these items, and also just a few key things that you might want to keep in mind if you're going to shop there. So why do people shop on this website? Let me talk a little bit about AliExpress. So if you guys aren't already on Google, typing in the address right now, trying to look up the website, let me just kind of give you guys a little bit of a description of what it's like to buy on AliExpress. It is kind of the wild west of shopping online because most things that you can buy on AliExpress are shipped from overseas in Japan, China, Malaysia, a lot of different Asian countries. It's extremely unregulated, so you can buy tons of bootleg cosplay costumes, merchandise, accessories, and a lot of fan art based um, costumes as well. And I know why a lot of people like to buy on AliExpress. If we're being really, really honest, it's because things on there are much, much cheaper than other websites. So let me give you guys kind of a brief overview of the pros and cons of buying on AliExpress before I actually go into the details about what I've bought on there and then my actual tips for using the website in a good, safe way. The pros, number one being it's super cheap. I have actually bought things on there for less than a US dollar with free shipping, which is pretty much as cheap as it gets. Um, quality of them varies depending on the object and I'll go into that later. Um, the second thing is that there is a huge, huge variety of cosplay costumes and accessories on there. So if you're looking for something and you have not been able to find it on any other cosplay website or Etsy or in the US anywhere, AliExpress is one of the places where I recommend my friends to look because if you can't find a pair of shoes or an accessory that's really, really hard to find everywhere else, chances are there are multiple versions of it on AliExpress already. There is no licensing. It really, really is the Wild West, which means that if something hasn't been officially released in the US, a lot of times you can still buy it on AliExpress because the creators who um, sew and create these costumes have already seen the fan art for it, have already seen, you know, graphics for it, and they just go based off the graphics. Will it be amazing quality? Will it be technically accurate? Not all times, yes, but you can still buy it much earlier than other websites that release it after a certain date. And then, of course, there are tons and tons of accessories that you can buy on there, everything from shoes, bags, um, fan art based accessories. Like if you've seen a version of a costume, but it's like a fan art version, a lot of times you can actually buy a created cosplay costume that's based off of that fan art, not the official art of that show, video game, manga, whatever it is. Well, now let me tell you that unfortunately AliExpress has quite a few cons to buying from this website. So I'm just going to go through them. I'm going to be honest and very blunt with you guys because I want you to have a very, very decent review of this website. The first one is that 
Shipping is extremely, extremely slow. A lot of times when you're buying from websites like AliExpress, they are going to use the cheapest, slowest shipping option available because it's coming from China. And a lot of times it's going to be shipped via, via what's it called, DHL or something like that, which is like international shipping that costs them a few dollars. Like it's really, really cheap. But when you're getting this item that you purchased can be sometimes 30, 40, 50, even 60 days from when you originally purchased it, and sometimes even longer. So keep that in mind when you buy from this, you need to definitely look into the shipping that they are giving you details on because not only are you waiting on the shipping, you're waiting for them to actually make or package the item and send it out. And sometimes that has a processing time of two weeks too, and that really adds up before a convention. Second thing, and this is a very unfortunate thing, but because it is the wild west of internet shopping and it's very unregulated, it's really, really easy to get scammed. There are so many different ways that you can get scammed from buying something and you're not even buying an item, you're buying like a picture of the item and it's kind of like tricking you into thinking you're buying it to thinking you're getting one thing and when you get it, it's something totally different and looks nothing like the picture or even just never getting the item because they don't give you a tracking number and it just disappears into international shipping and you never see it. Refunds are also very rare. So if you buy something on AliExpress and spend a lot of money and are very much anticipating it and you don't get it, there's a big chance you're gonna have to fight your bank to reverse that um, purchase instead of actually getting a refund from the seller. And another thing is that the website is very glitchy. Um, I've noticed when I use it, a lot of times I log on and five minutes later, for some reason I'm logged back off, even though I've been active in those five minutes. Sometimes you click buttons and the buttons don't work. Sometimes the website just is not working as you would think it should. And I found using an actual desktop computer versus using like a phone or tablet, go for the desktop every time. It's just, it does not work well on mobile for some reason. And then the last thing about the cons of buying on AliExpress is that you really cannot trust the sellers on there. People lie, people make up fake details about it, people promise one thing and then deliver another. The only people that you can really trust, truly trust on AliExpress are the buyer's reviews, people who leave pictures, people who leave comments and reviews about the product that they purchased, if they were happy, if they aren't. And a lot of times these are people in many, many different countries across the world. So keep in mind, some of them may be auto translated by uh, Google or the AliExpress website service. So their reviews are kind of confusing to read. Trust a picture, don't trust words. Okay, so let's get into AliExpress and what I have actually purchased from them. And then once we do that, I will go over my tips on how to actually buy on AliExpress and have a good experience and good results. So last year when I was doing KDA Aubrey, I ran into this issue where I wanted to get accessories for the costume. One of them was the tail. I really, really wanted a tail that would light up and be lightweight and wearable. The second was the shoes um, because I could not find the shoes anywhere um, at the moment I was buying the costume. And the third was I wanted a purse or accessory that would go with it, kind of be like black leathery material, something very girly, something very K-pop like. So everything I wanted had to do with this costume. This is where I found out about AliExpress and what led me to buy from them was actually the KDA Ari tail. Now, I'm sorry guys, I don't have it with me to show you, but if you go to my past video and watch the KDA Ari costume review, you can see the tail in that video and it's really, really awesome. And what led me to actually buy from this website was the fact that the tail looked really cool in the pictures. Um, it had good reviews, like it had reviews that people had left of it with pictures of it lit up and like what the battery box looked like, like how big it was, how it sits on your back, all of that. Um, it was within my budget. I had a budget of less than $40 to buy this. And I think it cost me about 25 or so to buy it and there was free shipping. So altogether, this was all the things that I was looking for in a tail. And when I got it, I was extremely happy about it. And I got it with um, pretty good timing. So sometimes when you buy from AliExpress, you're waiting a good month or two before you get your item. 
But the tail I actually got within a week and a half and I was shocked. I was not expecting that at all. So I was really, really happy with that purchase. So if you guys wanna see what it looked like, go watch the old video of the costume review. The two other things I have with me and I will be showing you guys today. So the second thing I talked about was the shoes. KDA Aubrey has a pair of purple high heels with gold accents. They're very basic looking shoes, but when I was purchasing the costume, I really, really did not want to have to make these shoes or buy a pair of heels and like do a bunch of alterations. I would rather just spend money and buy ones that are already, you know, for the costume. So that's what led me to buy these shoes on AliExpress. They are a pair of purple heels with gold accents. They are nothing fancy, I'm not gonna lie. If you look on the inside, this is the lining that they put under normal shoes. And typically they'll put like a nice little fake leather padding over the top. So like when you look at the shoe, it just looks nicer. They didn't even bother to do that in this shoe. They just like gave up and just left that in. And then if you look up really close, you can see the gold accents and the kind of strap and the strap is actually Velcro. So this is not like super secure or anything, but it's a high heel. Like this strap is not holding anything on. The high heel is supportive in itself. And what I really liked about this was the fact that the heels are actually walkable. They're pretty, I don't know, like supportive back here. They're not like spike high heels or really, really high. This is very easy to um, wear. So I think I got these for about 45, maybe $50 and the shipping was free on them, but I did have to wait a while to get them. I think it took me about three to four weeks to actually receive them in the mail from when I bought them. So during that time, it was one of my first experiences buying from AliExpress and I was very nervous. I was like, what am I about to get? Is it gonna look good? Are they gonna fit? And um, I'm gonna go through a couple things that I think you guys need to know when you buy costume pieces on AliExpress, like what you need to actually do measurement wise and size wise to get what you need. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys that I bought on AliExpress is actually the purse that I got for KDA Aubrey. And this purse is actually one of my very favorites, but it does have some pros and cons. And as you can see, this is so cute. I thought it went exactly with the costume. It has like this very girly gold chain with like little leather top. The front of it is a little clippy. And then the inside is actually cool because it has a middle part that just clips open and close and then like two zippered portions. So you can like zip things in for more security or you can just keep, like what I would do is I would have like my ID, my cards, my cash in this portion. And then I would put like my phone and other things like in the zippered portions. And it actually can hold a lot of stuff. So don't be alarmed, this looks tiny. This thing was able to hold everything I keep in my purse, my lip gloss, accessories, like everything. But the issue that I ran into when I bought this is that it was really cheap. It was only about 12 US dollars with free shipping. So that's pretty amazing for 12 US dollars. But the quality of it, it does not last. If you buy something really cheap on any website, chances are that even if it looks good up front, it's not going to last forever. And even though I love this purse, it has slowly, slowly been just falling to bits. If you look at the first thing, the buckle has started to actually kind of rub off. And this thing is so shiny, it's like a mirror. It actually would like blind people when I first got it because the, the light like reflecting off when I'd snap it up would be like, like really shiny. But the little straps that hold it together on the bottom, like these straps have literally fallen off so many times and I have tried to reattach them. This side is literally reattached with staples. It's not holding anything together. It's just like, please don't fall apart. So this purse, unfortunately I'll have to reorder it, but this was almost a year ago and I still have it and it's still in mostly one piece. So that's pretty good for $13. Um, again, with the purse, it took me a while to get it. I think about three weeks, and I think that's fairly normal to buy something from China. Okay, so now that you guys have listened to the pros and cons of buying on here, seen a few things that I actually purchased on AliExpress, I'm gonna go through my tips on how to shop on AliExpress and actually have a good, safe, non-scamming shopping experience. 
So number one, as I talked about before, before you shop, here are a few things you need to know. You're gonna need to use a computer. Don't try to use your phone or tablet or the app on the phone. I swear, they promote that app, but they do not take care of it at all. It's super glitchy and it's very frustrating to use. You're also gonna to wanna to have a lot of extra time to actually sift through all of the random things that will pop up when you search for a cosplay item. Because unfortunately, when you search for Ari cosplay, for some reason, a lot of sellers have also used different character names in a game or like game, anime, manga, whatever. So if you're like looking for one League of Legends character, for some reason, their um, wording will have multiple names of different characters in there. So if you search for one, you're going to get like tons and tons of different characters from the same game or anime, and you're gonna need a lot of time to sift through all of those and figure out what's what. Um, the other thing is that if you order from AliExpress, especially if you're ordering a cosplay costume item or accessory for an upcoming event, try to give yourself like three, two or three months in advance, because if you end up buying that item that does end up taking, you know, six or eight weeks to get to you, you're giving yourself enough time to not be disappointed that it came literally three days after the event and is unusable. Know what you need and know what you want. So there's a big difference between like, okay, I need to stay within budget and I need to find an item that is the correct sizing and I need to find this specific item in this specific way versus, well, I really want it to be darker purple versus lighter purple. I really want the heel to be this many inches versus that many inches. Um, you know, decide what you absolutely need out of these accessories and what you're willing to be a little more flexible on or adapt to if you need to. And then only spend money that you are comfortable with not getting refunded if something happens. And I say this because there are a lot of cosplay costumes you can buy on AliExpress that are also expensive. So even though you can buy a costume for $15 with free shipping, you can also buy a pro costume for $300 with free shipping. However, which one are you gonna be most disappointed if you don't actually get in the mail or when you get it, it's ruined or you're not going to get a refund back? Like which one are you gonna be more disappointed? $15 or 300? I think we know the answer. Okay, number two, we're gonna talk about key things that you need to know about AliExpress, the actual website and shopping experience. As I said before, <laughs> AliExpress is what I would consider to be the wild, wild west of Asian shopping. So even though there are so many different things that you can find on this website, it is so unregulated. It is so strange how some things are titled or like what they're described as versus what you see in the picture. A lot of times when I'm on there, I'll find things and I'm like, what? This doesn't make any sense. And that's kind of pretty usual for shopping on the website. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That has happened to me many, many times. And sometimes you just click back and you're like, well, okay, that wasn't what I was looking for, but all right, it's very strange. Um, if you guys remember back before, like Amazon and a lot of really reputable cosplay websites had opened up, there were a lot of websites out there like eBay where you were kind of buying things, just like crossing your fingers, like, please let this actually look like it does in the pictures and let it actually fit and let it be described as it's described and let someone actually be sending it to me. Like I'm not just giving my credit card information to some stranger that's gonna go steal my credit card. Like it was very scary to buy online. So it took a lot of trust to be able to do that. Sometimes AliExpress feels like that. So don't be concerned if you go to it and you're just like, oh man, this seller is giving me a really bad vibe. If you're getting a bad vibe, go and buy from a different store or a different seller on AliExpress. Most shipping is between two and four weeks. Like I would say that's average. Um, one week or so is like super, super quick shipping on AliExpress and two to four weeks is average. And then four to six or even eight weeks happens. It's not as common, but it is still common. And a lot of pictures that are on these items stores. So like if you're on 
a cosplay costume. Like let's say you're looking up like a Madoka Magica dress and you're looking through the description of this item that you're about to buy and you notice what's really strange is that they have all these pictures up of different angles of the costume, but there's like this really weird square that's like blurred out, almost like there was someone's store label or name or mark on the pictures, but the seller may have just borrowed these pictures and tried to blur or Photoshop out that label so that they can use it for their own store. There are so many items out there like that where you have to be really careful because you'll be like, I'm getting kind of a weird vibe because this store is called Cosplay Cuties, but the label is saying easy cosplay on the photo they have in their store. So where is this costume actually coming from and what am I actually purchasing? And that's why I say to always look at buyer's reviews because the buyer's reviews don't lie. The store can lie. They are not regulated. And then the last thing to know that's a very, very key thing, and I think I mentioned this before, is that there is a massive, massive variety of items that you can get everything from Japanese or Chinese goods, cosplay costumes, Lolita or cutesy kawaii things, home goods, bed sheets, like everything you could possibly imagine is available on AliExpress. So when you're using keywords, a lot of random stuff will come up. And that's why I mean, it'll take time to kind of sift through that. Okay, for the best shopping experience, number three, we are going to go through a few things that I have found to just make it so that what you're buying, what you think you're buying is what you're actually, you know, gonna get in the mail. The first thing is find review pictures to compare. So if you are purchasing a pair of cosplay shoes and in the picture, they look like this and you're like, ooh, I want those. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the actual buyer's reviews that are on that page on that item and look up to see what pictures they posted. Do they have them wearing the shoes? Do they have the shoes like just sitting on the ground? How do they look? Did they say they were comfortable? Did they say they ran small? Like don't trust the seller, always trust the buyers. I have left reviews for many, many items on there because it's a really good way to give back to other cosplayers and let them know if I had a good or bad experience and if the site and the item was legitimate. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is check out the store's positive percentage rating. So if you buy from a store on AliExpress, you can give them good or bad feedback. So did you have a positive experience or did you have a negative experience? And they take all those scores overall and they give the store its own positive percentage rating. So what I found is that if you're buying from a store and they have a percentage rating less than 90%, there are some major problems that have gone on with their um, buyers, either shipping issues or not receiving items or the item was defective or the item didn't look like it was supposed to. But if the store has greater than 90% positive ratings, it typically means most people that bought from them had a good experience and you're probably gonna also have a good experience if you buy from them too. And then of course, another thing for the just best shopping experience, don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you find a cosplay costume, all the accessories, the shoes, the bag, whatever, the wig, like everything for your costume, and you're gonna buy six different items, I really recommend you don't buy them all from one seller unless you really, really trust the seller. They have awesome ratings. They have awesome review pictures. Like everything is just perfect. Because if you buy things from one store and you get them and they're not quite what you were expecting and you're a little let down, it's better to have one item that you feel disappointed in versus all six of the items that you are now disappointed that you bought. And then of course, just have an open mind. As you go through AliExpress, you will find many things that you will be like, I cannot believe anyone would buy this. And then you'll find many things where you're like, I can't believe I can buy this for so cheap. This is amazing. Okay, the very last thing we're gonna talk about as I flip over my notes today, number four, and this is the most important thing for you guys who are cosplayers out there who are gonna be purchasing costumes that you will be wearing on your body. Let me give you guys a little bit of costume advice for sizing and purchasing these costumes. 
The first thing I wanna talk about is that shoes in Asian sizes are very, very strange, and many stores don't tell you this. When you are measuring your feet for shoes, you typically measure the length of your foot. So is it 24, 25, 25 and a half? Like how many inches or centimeters it is lengthwise. Now, the lucky thing is that the stores will tell you the shoe size and the length of your foot and how it will fit. But what they don't tell you is that if you buy a shoe size that is based exactly on the length of your foot, it will fit you like a ballerina's slipper. It will be so, so tight and so form-fitted to your foot that if you buy a flat shoe, it will be have no stretch, no movement, and can be extremely uncomfortable to wear that. I feel like as Americans, we typically buy um, a shoe size and the shoe size should have at least one thumb width between your toe and the shoe's toe so that as you walk, as you move, you have a little bit of movement and a little bit of give in your shoe. If you buy a shoe where your toes are already squished up against the top of the heel as you walk, that's a lot of pressure to have on your feet and this is what gives people a lot of back and leg and foot problems. And as you guys may have, um, heard from my last video, I, when I did KDA Ari, I had quite a bit of issues in these shoes because between the tightness of the shoe and the tightness of my thigh high stockings and the tightness of my tights under that, I actually broke both my big toenails. I really suggest you don't do that. So when you buy shoes, do the length of your foot. So this one is, uh, let's see, where does it say on here? Maybe it doesn't say. I, gosh, I can't remember what exactly my foot length is, but when you buy just your foot length plus two centimeters, and that will give you enough room to have a comfortable shoe buying experience. The next thing we're gonna talk about is Asian clothing sizes. And most of us cosplayers who have bought from Asian websites before know an Asian size is smaller than a US or European size. So typically what I have found is that if you wear a size large in the US, you are going to be buying extra or 2X large from an Asian size website. Um, really, really look into the sizing charts that cosplay costumes on AliExpress post. They'll have like a little chart that says like medium, okay, waist length, okay, length, shoulder width, like all this stuff, and really make sure that whatever the widest part of you is, it fits into those measurements. Um, so if you have really wide shoulders, make sure the cosplay costume also is within those measurements. Um, if you have a really small waist, but really big hips, make sure you fit into those measurements. However, you need to do that. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel shamed. It's just how the sizing works. The next thing we're talking about is custom sizing, because I think a lot of people have this idea of if they buy from a cosplay website and they give the website their custom sizing, you know, their waist, hips, bust, all of that. When they get the cosplay costume, it is going to fit them like a glove and look perfect. Now, unfortunately, a lot of websites like Pro Cosplay and I think even Easy Cosplay does this where you can pay an extra $20 and give them your measurements and they will make the costume based on your measurements. However, this does not change the length in the costume, so the length of the legs or torso, which is something you need to keep in mind. And also they're still using a pattern to create that costume. So they're going to use the measurements that fit closest to whatever pattern alterations they do. It's not like they're actually making a perfectly fitted custom costume for you. They're just kind of using your measurements to see which best pattern you fit into. A lot of people have left really poor reviews on ProCosplay.com because they paid extra for the custom sizing, they got the costume, and it's too short for their torso, or it's too long, or even though it fits in the waist, now it doesn't fit in the shoulders. So just keep that in mind as you're buying these cosplay costumes. And you can use this tip for other websites, I really recommend you do it. I feel it's better to just buy the bigger version of the costume and take it in once you get it. So for me, I know realistically, I have bigger hips and a smaller waist. So whatever sizing I fall into, I have to size up to make sure that my shoulders and my hips fit the costume. And then when I get it, I know I'm gonna have to take it in a few inches in the waist, but I'm okay with that. I understand that and I know that's just 
how their body shape and patterns work. Okay, and then the last thing about costume advice is that AliExpress does have so many different versions of costumes. You have fan-based, you have art-based, you have the official merch type costumes. But realistically, AliExpress is much better for buying cheaper costumes, which is why most people use it. If you're buying on AliExpress, I really recommend that you spend less than $100 on a cosplay costume. If you are willing to spend over $150 on a cosplay costume, I would start looking into other websites like Etsy or more professional cosplay websites that do these costumes because you're going to have a much easier buying experience. You're going to be able to trust them a lot more. Um, you could even get something commissioned by a commissioned artist who would actually take all of your sizing and not use basic patterns to make the costume. Um, AliExpress just in general is really awesome for cheap cosplay costumes, but expensive cosplay costumes, do you really want to spend that much money and trust that you're going to get what you asked for, what you paid for, whatever your measurements are, whatever your height, weight, whatever, that it's going to look good and fit good on you? At that point, I would take my trust and take it to a different website. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here, guys, and I really, really hope this helps anyone out there who wants to shop on AliExpress or who has shopped on it in the past and maybe had a bad experience and is looking for other people's reviews of how they've used it. Um, I think a lot of websites like this are really great opportunities for people who don't have a ton of time or money to still be able to do cosplay or buy cute accessories for their home or you know, buy those cosplay shoes or purses that are hard to find other places and still have a good experience if you know how to do it right. So anyways, I'll be back again to do more videos. Have a good day, guys, and see you soon.